Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you, I have here only a tiny sample left, Cartier Wooden Ambre. This is a very famous scent from uh, Cartier. I don't know if you can see here. I have a tiny sample because it's quite expensive and when I made an order with another perfume I got this one. This is a popular scent from Cartier released in 2020. I managed to test this in La Rinascente in Milan in Italy. Given that this is a, an extremely expensive perfume, it's around 345 euro for 75 milliliter and not uh, worldwide available so like on the website of Cartier is always sold out I thought I'm gonna make a review from my tiny sample in here you can see it's very milky and tell you how this scent is and if you should care about it so I will now spray it on my wrist because we don't want to uh, waste this precious juice this is this has only uh, amber and wood into its composition, but I also feel a very thick syrupy vanilla. So think Ambre Sultan with extra vanilla on top and a pinch of wood in the background. So this is Resinous Oriental and the perfumer is Mathilde Laurent, the in-house perfumer from uh, Cartier. So they only give two notes uh, for the scent, amber and wood. The wood is there, so the sweetness and the smooth, thick character of the amber is very well uh, completed by the, the, the strong, quite medicinal wood. This is, if you want, like a scent which uh, Maison Francis Kurjan would launch, like Grand Soir, and you put a pinch of wood note in it. They already have Grand, Grand Soir, which is such a famous and popular scent. If they would launch like every other houses are doing Grand Soir wood, that would be similar to this scent. So this is how I can describe it. So this is a very smooth amber smell with a very wearable uh, silky wood in the base if i can call it this way it's not stinky it's not disturbing anything uh, about this scent and obviously after a few hours the only thing you will uh, still smell would be a very thick very rich amber smell and what impressed me back in the day in in milan and even now when i sprayed impressed me very much is the fact that this perfume even if it's an amber perfume, this is very long lasting. This will last a whole day and it will project and it will last and it will be powerful. And it's kind of like magic that an amber based perfume can be so powerful. I only know this from earlier versions of Grand Soir and nothing else. The pricing is absolutely obscene for this scent. It's 345 euro for 75 milliliter. You can get 200 milliliter of Grand Soir for this money as of now when I'm filming this video. Basically after half an hour in dry down they are quite similar. So like what you get from Grand Soir you get from Wooden Ambre from Cartier I would say based on my opinion. If you are ultra rich and if you are well done for you and you want to impress your guests when somebody comes to your home and they see that you have on the shelf some uh, gorgeous Cartier packaging with a perfume that they didn't heard about because it's quite rare and you cannot smell these perfumes in a normal perfumery. I only saw this in La Rinascente in uh, Italy, I think in KDV in Berlin and in the duty free of the Malpensa airport. So like the duty free shop in Malpensa airport, they also have this, uh, these perfumes from Cartier. If you are ultra rich and you want to make an impression, go for it. But for any other perfume lover which appreciates a good deal, I don't think this scent is a good deal because it's extremely expensive for a very well done amber scent. Amber is amber. It's not who knows what complexity in, in the game. It's not who knows what crazy expensive materials working there. And I don't know, they had to make some distillate of whatever ingredient from the jungle and then it costs so much. So for an amber with a pinch of wood to ask for so much money, I think uh, this is 40 euro 
the price of the sand and 305 euro it's the brand of Cartier which is paid in here to be honest it's always sold out if you go on the page of uh, Cartier right now no matter where you are in the world you will see that this is sold out so they have no more available sands and even for this high price it's still not easy to get so I don't know how to justify this high price and low availability please let me know in the description below if you know why is this so popular that all the time is discontinued on the Cartier's uh, website let's go now to the conclusion what does this remind me of it reminds me of Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kurjan or just any other amber perfume on the market like what about longevity and sillage well it's a very good performer and it will last the whole day so something that I don't understand what magic is is in this scent that from an amber scent to have such a huge amount of projection you saw my tiny sample in here it was half and now it's like just a little on the bottom but it's so thick it's so powerful for me it's something hard to understand how did they manage to do such a thing so from this regard is great what about versatility well this is a classy smooth and underrated scent so for a gentleman is great and also for a lady who likes to dress well all the time this is also great what about seasons I think it will shine in the colder months for the summer or spring warm spring and so on I think it might be a bit too cloying too powerful too thick but uh, autumn winter and early spring top what about the score I will give this one a 9 out of 10 if you love ambery scents this is for you the scent DNA it's obviously not unique but it's done very well and it lasts very long so thank you for watching I hope you liked this uh, description of the Cartier wood and ambra i hope to see you soon on the channel again stay healthy bye guys